I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. Thanks so much for joining me today. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your brain doesn't know how to function unless you I like spew that set. out. Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USBF bronze medalist. Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USBF bronze medalist. Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. Uh, okay. Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. Today we are going to talk about horse confirmation. This is my best pal, Nico. He is a 12 year old thoroughbred off the track and he has pretty unfortunate confirmation as you can see. I've used him in some of my other videos and some of you guys have commented on his um, confirmation saying that he it looks like he has a weak back and although his back is not his uh, selling point um, the problem really lies in how his pelvis is attached to his body. His pelvis is kind of at an angle, kind of like that, and it makes his back look really low. And then his back lifts up again, or looks higher at the withers area. So when we're looking for a good confirmation in a horse for uh, dressage purposes or just kind of an all-around horse, we're looking for uh, a strong top line, number one, um, and um, long legs, a long neck. Um, and uh, I have another video that I did actually about uh, a, horse, uh, um, a horse with good confirmation. I'll be sure and put up a card ahead of this video so that you can check that out. A horse with good confirmation and a nice strong top line. Uh, a different horse, not this guy. Um, but anyway, I wanted to kind of discuss this horse and why exactly it looks like he is like sway back. Uh, he's, like I said, he's only 12, he's not that old, but the problem really is the way that his pelvis is attached to his body that makes it look like he has a, a kind of a low, almost a sway back. He hasn't, you know, he's not very old, he hasn't been ridden that hard, so it's not like his back is swayed from age and from being ridden for, you know, 30 years. Um, it's just his pelvis and his kind of shorter front legs, his very long back legs that make him look the way he does. Um, so yeah, he does find being really round and through the back in his dressage work. He does find that a little bit challenging, but that type of work is still really good for horses, even if they don't have picture perfect confirmation. Uh, asking a horse to do their best to engage their abdominals and to lift their backs and to uh, engage their hind end. Um, speaking of abdominals, because this horse's pelvis is attached in such a way, it also um, has encouraged this horse to kind of have distended abdominal. So his basically is he's hanging his his gut is hanging out. <laughs> so um, he, he's got a big hay belly looking belly, uh, even though he's not overweight. And it's almost like he just doesn't. Uh, carry himself with his abdominals engaged ever. <laughs> um, so his pelvis is tilted kind of funny and his abdominals are sort of distended and that's why it looks like his back is swayed. So as you can see even when I asked Nico to lift his back he still has trouble lifting it all the way because his abs are just not very strong and because of the way the rest of his body is put together. So when I scratched behind his tail, uh, he lifted his back a little bit, but it still wasn't all that much. But uh, I wanted to give you guys an example of a horse that does not have very good confirmation so that you can compare it to uh, maybe your horse at home or other horses that you see online with good confirmation and just sort of educate your eye. When I'm looking for a horse to buy for dressage purposes, um, he's probably this, this type of confirmation would probably not be my first choice, but I just wanted to say 
that even though Nico's confirmation is not ideal, this is probably my favorite horse on the farm. Uh, the reason for that is, uh, is because his, of his disposition. He's so reliably sweet and trustworthy and he's just the same horse every day. Basically, you can just do any, anything you want with this horse. Anyone can ride him. He's sound and he has a great mind. So personally, those are my top two priorities when I'm looking for a horse to buy or to lease or, or that's how I determine my favorite horse, the fact that he's sound and that he's so wonderfully sweet. So, like I said, even if your horse doesn't have perfect confirmation, uh, it doesn't mean that he can't uh, do well in dressage or well in whatever you would like to do with him. As long as the horse is sound and is trainable, rideable, and, and that other stuff, um, he, he still can be useful. You can still learn a lot. He can, uh, he's still a great, great horse. Probably, like I said, my favorite horse on the farm. Don't tell Roman or Galileo. Sorry. Anyway, thanks for joining me today, guys. Be sure and like this video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.